The Compagnie des Forges et Osieries de la Marine et Dumacourt FAMH, Company of Marine Forges and Steelworks and of Homacourt was a French industrial enterprise that made iron and steel products for the French Navy, Army and Railroads. It is often known as saint shaman from its main location in saint shaman Loire. Topic Origins. In 1815, James Jackson, a manufacturer from Birmingham, England, set a steelworks near Saint Etienne at Trablane. Jackson returned to England around 1823. His sons, naturalized Frenchmen, established an important steelworks at Assailly in 1830. In 1837 H. Petain and J. M. Gaudet, mechanics and forgers, set up shops at saint Chamond and Rive de Gier. In 1841 Petain et Gaudet introduced one of the first steam hammers at their works. Later they introduced innovations such as a mobile crane for moving large pieces around the works, and a hydraulic press. Starting in 1771 the Nairn brothers became owners of several coal mines and ironworks in the valley of the Gier River. The Company of Nairn Frères et Thiolier was formed in January 1845 to exploit an enlarged and modernized factory at Lorette. The partnership of Parent, Schocken, Goldsmith et C. was formed on 28 February 1854 to acquire and exploit the forges of the Vierzon Company located at Vierzon, Claviers, Riblay, Beno and Corbancone. These four companies became one on 14 November 1854 when Jackson Frères and Petain et Gaudet merged and combined with Nairn Thialier, Bergeron et C. of Lorette, and Parent, Schocken, Goldsmith et C. of Paris. The new company was called the Compagnie des Hautes Forno, Forges et Osieries de la Marine et des Chemins de Fer. The company, which engaged in extracting, processing, and selling iron and coal, was initially based in Rive de Gier. On 9 November 1871 it moved its headquarters to saint Chamond and became a limited company. The factories were mainly concentrated in the Loire Basin, in saint Chamond and Assailly. <laughs> Early years In 1874 the company was struggling in a difficult economy. Pierre de Montgolfier Verpillo was named general director. Montgolfier remained head of the company for most of the rest of his life. When he took office in 1874 the annual sales turnover was 20 million francs, and at the end of his tenure in 1908 it had risen to 80 million francs. He paid particular attention to the works at saint Chamond and Assailly, where he developed the special fabrications that brought fame to the factories. At St. Chamond he built a forge that could make 80-ton ingots, and he installed a great steam hammer with a 100-ton ram, he developed arms manufacture at St. Chamond, and also delivered large quantities of rails to major French railroad companies. In 1881 he founded the Forges du Bucco near Bayonne. The factory at Bucco in the Haute's Pyrenees was created when the Midi Rail Network decided to replace its iron rails with steel. 
Between 1887 and 1890 he built huge workshops which, among other products, made most of the land turrets that armed the eastern fortresses of France, and provided turrets to various foreign powers, particularly Romania. The forges also produced train shields and marine turrets. In 1903, the company moved into the east and north when it acquired the assets of the Vezin Alnoy Company, which included factories at Homacourt in Mert et Moselle and iron mines at Hautemont in the north. The name was changed to Compagnie des Forges et Osieries de la Marine et Dumacourt. Topic: World War One. During World War One, 1914 to 1918, the company built several different types of weapons, notably the Saint Chamond Mondragon 75 mm gun, which had been designed mostly by Colonel Ramilha, the Saint Chamond tank, and the deficient Shoshot machine rifle. They also produced naval guns, such as the quadruple gun turret design for the unfinished Normandy-class battleships. <laughs> Later mergers In 1932 the company purchased the Nairand et C company with a plant at Ancion, Loire. The company went through major changes after World War II 1939 In 1950 the properties in the east and north were transferred to the Lorraine Company SIDELOR, and the company returned to its focus in the Loire region. In 1952 it merged with the Compagnie des Osieries de Saint-Étienne to form the Compagnie des Forges et Osieries de la Marine et Saint-Étienne. In 1954 the company became a holding company, combining its industrial operations with the Etablissement Jacob Holzer and Usine de la Loire des Osieries et Forges de Fermigny to create the Compagnie des At Ateliers et Forges de la Loire CAFL. The company went through further transformations in 1961 by merging with Fermini, which had also become a holding company, to form the Compagnie des Forges et Osieries de la Marine, Fermini et Saint-Étienne. This became Marine Fermini in 1968. That year SNCF Class A1AA1 A68000 production was over, and that signified the end of locomotive production of the company. In March 1970 the latter company merged with Société des Forges et Ateliers du Creusot to form Creusot Loire Holding. 1973 oil embargo caused a steel crisis, and in 1974 French government nationalized the steel industry. Marine Wendel was created by acquiring most of the industrial and commercial interests of the Lorraine Company. <laughs> 